everyone, Ephraim here from Passpoint One Comics. Um, I have some new comic books that I wanted to show you that just came in this uh, last week or two. I wait till I get at least four or five of them before I start, you know, before I put them on YouTube. So, you know, I don't show them just one, whenever I get one, one a day, you know. So I decided just to wait a little while. So um, away we go. Get my little stand up here. So this first one uh, actually came from artist uh, Livio Ramondelli. I have mentioned him before in my uh, previous uh, video. He, um, you know, he goes to comic book conventions and he does um, commissions for people. You know, he draws uh, artwork on comic books mostly. But um, since of COVID, of course, everything was closed down. But he had this one. It's... Um, IDW Transformer cover collection. It's his artwork basically, and it has all of his, uh, not all of his, but some of his drawings of his artwork. And he did a little uh, remark on the cover. Hopefully you can see it right there. Let me put it here for now. I've I mentioned before, um, Livio, really nice guy. Uh, I met him about two times at conventions and um, you know, it takes the time to talk, uh, not just draw. And um, I got some commissions from him previously. And um, he was just selling these. Actually, this was on Instagram. And he said he had some available since, you know, COVID, like I said. Um, he was going to sell them at convention, but he decided to sell them online. And I bought one. My uh, next one is from Frankie's Comics. And all these next ones are basically our groups that I follow on uh, Facebook. And um, they sell comic books. They have uh, their own website. Um, you know, you go um, whenever they have comic books for sale. They usually post them on Facebook. Hey, this is coming up. You know, get ready and buy them if you want. So I got this one from Frankie's. Let me open it up here. I order so many comic books. I know I keep on saying that. Sometimes I don't, I don't even know that I've ordered them until I see them and I remember. See what I got. He has his own little emblem there too. If you can see, it says Frankie's. Good secure packaging, <laughs> which is always a plus. Never know what's going to happen when it goes through the mail. See, I got three of them. Uh, first one, oh, is uh, Harley Quinn, number seventy-five. And this is a semi version cover. There is some writing on there. I believe this is from Adam Hughes. And the next one is Thor number five, uh, third printing. I just like the cover. I keep on saying that, but you know, covers grab me. And uh, you know, this is by uh, Donny Cates. And those once again came from Frankie's. This next one is from a seller on Instagram, Matt Marlin, um, MM Comic Sales, I believe. He sells comic books every Thursday, and um, it could be from modern, you know, copper, bronze, silver age, whatever he has available. And you just bid on them, basically, if you like them. But he also has buy it nows. You know, if you just see a comic book, he doesn't want to, people to bid on it. He just, hey, buy this now for $9. And the first one to say BIN9 for buy it now is the one who gets the comic book. So if you have fast internet service, uh, when he does those bins, that, that helps. Let's see what I got here. <clears throat> Another good thing about uh, MN Comic Sales, if you want to, he can hold comic books for you for a week or two if you want to save on uh, shipping prices. So, you know, he like I said, he goes every Thursday. And if you save, you buy one or two, but he, you can tell him, can you hold them until next week? So that way they can come all together. Really good packaging. Everything I've ever bought, and I've been fortunate, knock on wood, you know, is just come come to me without no problems. 
you know, nothing as far as um, damaged books. Anybody who sells comic books, I do recommend using painter's tape. <laughs> this really good. I mean, better than regular tape when it comes to comic books, at least. Oh, and he threw a, he threw in a freebie. That's one thing about Matt um, and MM Comic Sales. He just throws in freebies, and I didn't bid for this, and I didn't pay for it, so he just threw it in. It's Transformers number thirteen. Make sure I have space here. And these are the ones that I um, buy it now, where I just keep it. Buy it now, nine dollars, for example. And I, I was the first one to reply, buy it now, nine dollars. And um, actually, all three that I got this time were buy it nows. Um, somebody can could have got it quicker if they wanted it, and then it's there. You know, it's not a big deal. Now, these are nice comics. First one is Marvel Action Black Panther with uh, Shuri on the cover. It's a one in ten incentive. Um, let me see. It's a first print, and he says it's near mint. I'll take his word for it. It's Marvel Action Black Panther, but it came from IDW. Next one is Doctor Strange, number 13. Um, he's putting on Galactus's uh, helmet. I thought it was a pretty cool cover, so wanted to get it. And the last one I got from MM Comic Sales is Miles Morales, Spider-Man uh, number 18, Outlawed. Can't wait to read these. <laughs> put these out of the way so I can put my other books that I got so far. So this one came from Paper Asylum in Beverly, Massachusetts, I believe. with me while I open it up. freebies from the United States Postal Service, man. They do come in handy for us comic book sellers and buyers. Just gives these comics extra security, in my opinion. Let's see what these first set is. Ooh, Thor, number four, and uh, Giant Size X-Men number one uh, with Storm on the cover. Here's Thor. Um... down and this next one I said is giant size x-men storm number one i just like the cover i thought it was a pretty awesome looking cover so i decided to buy it and these are still from paper asylum um, let's see what these are i can figure out where i can open it from Got to be delicate. I don't want to bend them or crease my comic book or anything like that. Oh, Strange Academy number one by Scotty Young and Humberto Ramos and Edgar Delgado. This has been a really hot comic. I think issue three just came out, I believe. And I got two Strange Academies, The Faculty. This is uh, issue number two, uh, third printing. Comics, um, you know, people who make comics, Marvel, DC, when books are popular, sometimes they make first printings and then people want them some more, but, you know, there are, it's just a first printing. Sometimes they do second and third printings. And this is Thor number four. Um, here you go, third printing. Uh, Thor um, battling Galactus. Okay, let's see what's next. 
This one uh, is from Sanctum Sanctorum Comics and Oddities in Plymouth, Michigan. It's quite heavy, so there's quite a few books in here. Got to be careful not to cut myself or my books. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, eight books, I believe. Gosh, I got here. Let me get them ready for you. Sometimes I buy multiple covers of the same book because I just like them. Um, I, have, I've, I think I've sold, I don't sell comics uh, that much. I think I've sold altogether maybe one or two comics and I felt really bad selling them and giving them away. I'm a collector, you know. Maybe one of these days I will start selling my comic books, but I have so many. Don't ask me how much, uh, but I got a lot. I've been collecting for, gosh, over 50 years now. Started in um, San Francisco. I used to go to the local um, liquor store up the block from my house and they had that spindle rack and I used to buy comics and that's where I started. So, uh, let me see. The first two are Venom 27 uh, variant editions. Uh, same cover. Uh, next one is Venom 28. Um, just got one. What's wrong with me? How come I only got one? I don't know. <laughs> next one, two, three. Oh, I take it back. I got two of them. <laughs> I didn't know this. They weren't in order. There you go. The next three is Thor, number seven. Um, it's like hands reaching out to Thor's hammer, like who is worthy. I thought this was a cool cover. At the very bottom, you can see Ant-Man right there. There you go. That's three of them. Uh, next one is Venom 25. I believe this is, this is a third printing. Sideways looking comic. Looks like it's Carnage finding a Venomized dinosaur or Venom as a dinosaur. And I got three of them. <laughs> Put these here so you can see them. Uh, my last books that I got this week um, is this is from Comic Boxer in Niagara Falls, New York. Uh, let me uh, open it up here. I'm sure I'll be getting some more today and I'll be doing another video real soon. Actually, I got some CGC comics coming. I can't wait to show you those. I always like doing uh, CGC unboxings. I try not to look at the CGC grades before I get them so I'm surprised uh, when I show them. Hopefully it won't be a disappointment. Uh, let's see what we got here. They're thick books. Oh gosh. Let's open these up here. Quite a few books in here. Let me get them ready for you. Oh, I believe these are the Iron Man um, that I ordered. Well, they are. They all, all. They all are Iron Man comics. Iron Man number one. Sometimes they're like one in fifty, one in one hundred, you know, one in twenty-five or one in ten. I just decided to buy a lot of them and not order them separately, but all at once. Yep, they're all Iron Man, so get ready. <laughs> Here's, oops, let me get these out of the way. I think it's getting a little bit too full here. Okay, the last set, they're all Iron Man comics. And they're all, I believe, um, variant editions. This one is by Alex Ross. I believe they're called Timeless. 
he's been doing a bunch of Marvel characters. Um, his artwork is great. So this is the first one I've gotten from him. And he's doing everybody, basically. Not everybody, but a lot of the Marvel uh, characters. This is, they call these blank covers. The texture on these covers is a little bit rough. So you can basically um, give these to an artist and he can draw on the cover. Um, they're, they're commissions. So if I ever decide to do one of Iron Man, if I find a really nice artist that I like, I'll say, hey, can you draw Iron Man on this cover for me? And you know, just tells me his pricing. And if I feel it's a good price, I say, yeah, please do it. And then by the end of the convention, um, at the end of that day or when the convention, the last day of the convention, I just go pick it up. You know, either I get a CG seed encapsulator or I just, you know, if I don't want to, I just, you know, obviously take them home. And these, I thought these were the same, but they are different. Um, not much difference I can tell except for the coloring. This one says Premier Variant. And this one just says Variant Edition. They almost look the same, but if you take a closer look at both covers, the, the coloring is different. Let me see if I can put these side by side. Hopefully it won't fall. There you go. And uh, a couple more Iron Man here. And here's the last one. I believe this artist is Leonardi, I believe. This is like Iron Man like from the 70s, the way his um, costume is. So that's all I have for you this week. Um, let me see if we have anything else to say. Yeah, so I started following, uh, I try to follow people on um, YouTube, obviously, who are uh, speak about comic books and show, th and show them. And um, I started recent recently following three uh, YouTubers, uh, MJ Comics, Remy Q Studios, and Super Power Review. If you have a chance, check them out. Really good um, videos that they always have coming out like on a weekly basis. Um, and also, uh, I'm actually having a commission done by an uh, artist known as Todd Knock. Todd Knock, sorry. Um, I signed a list of his years ago, and he just sent me an email today that my name came up. So he's going to start working on a commission for me. Um, I asked him if he can do Kitty Pride and Lockheed from the X-Men. So basically, once he's done, um, I felt there's this form that he's filling out that he's going to submit the comics for me to CGC. So when CGC gets them, they have my account name and um, my number, my account number, and then they're just going to encapsulate it for me. So hopefully I'll be a good grade. So that's all I have for you this week. Um, please, if you have time, um, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And until next week, be safe and uh, take care.